everything around me, the things that I was chasing and I was trying to be a part of, I started getting tired of it. Like the people around me. At this point, I'm homeless, man. I'm sleeping at bus stops. I'm riding around. With, I'm hopping on buses with two duffel bags. I'm running in and out of stores. Over here to sell this. From electronics to dove soap. Anything to get a high. I'm selling you dove soap and I'm selling you brand new clothes. And I got these clothes on for four days now. And I have any soap. I got everything I need. I don't even care about myself or nothing. You know? Um, but man, I got tired of it all. I just got, it, it, it started. And um, I reached out for help. I asked my mother, you know, to help me, man, to give me somewhere I can't live like this no more. I went, I got so bad to the call. And uh, I'm supposed to go a week prior to, to the 26. You know, I was at a downtown, and then it was, the, it was two days before I was supposed to go. Um, I got a hold of some drugs and some money, and I missed that money I was supposed to go. But within that six days, I ended up going that next Monday. Man, I got on shot at in front of my parents' house. I was in my car. Um, man, I, I really feel like the enemy was really trying to take me out before I got, I'm talking about at one after another. But God also allowed it also. See, you missed that first day. You, you have the second guess. Let me show you what's out here for you. Let me allow it. Let me take my hands off you, not completely, but just enough so you can see what the enemy is trying to do to you. I'm talking about back to back to back to back. Um, man, I ran in that place after that week. You understand me? I ran in that place where I couldn't wait. You know, I, no. Well, I slept because I'm still untrustworthy at the time. I slept on my parents' front stoop. Open and again, they got, we want to believe you. We'll help you get there in the morning, you know. But so we can't bring you in the house right now, you know. And I slept there, I slept out there, and I never forget. I remember the front door open, and then they have cameras right there anyway, so they was able to see. But uh, they came out and they brought my mom, brought, she had a little box of blankets, a little pillow, and then she had some food that she had microwave from. You know, it's, it's to the point to where many people love you so much, but they got to protect themselves because we, the what we bring to them. And we got to, I had to understand that. I couldn't be selfish no more. You know, you start maturing and growing up. Like, hey, you start taking accountability for some of the things that we, you know. And I was okay with that. And I was okay with it, man. Next morning, I ride in the tailgate. <laughs> My dad's truck. The one he loved riding in the truck. All the way in the same road. Oh, I couldn't even ride with him. I'm, that's how bad I was. That's how bad I was, man. Um, but I remember getting there. And that, that was, to this day, among others, I've had more, but that was the first day of the better days. From this point on, and, and praying that it continues to be better days to come. It was one of the best things. Not only did I surrender from drugs and alcohol and a lifestyle, but I surrendered my life, myself, my will over, and I gave myself back to Christ. Hallelujah. And I gave back to him. I, I couldn't, I was tired of running. I, I couldn't, I just couldn't do it no more. And each day, each day, even up to this point, it still get better. I say this to say too, even after that, it, it, the enemy still tries, man. From drugs and alcohol may not work, okay, well, you have a history of dealing with anger, so. And I dealt with anger. Once I got sober for a minute and uh, I started to get myself back together, man, I found out I was very angry. I was angry and I had trust issues. Today I can say it's because I, I did trust people, but I didn't trust myself too. And from dirt that we've done to other people, but it was a, it, it's a lot more hurdles too that a guy still had to work with me on. I clean you up. And it's still a constant, constant battle of being cleaned up. Day by day, day by day. So first and foremost, man, remain humble. Gotta remain humble. And I, that's these are my daily things that I have to do to keep this life, man. I gotta remain humble. I don't dwell on the past, but I don't forget it either. Cause that's man, the, the easiest way the enemy of me to try to trick you is to make you think that he's not there. He's there. He ain't went nowhere. He still wants me. He still wants you. He still so I acknowledge it, but I don't give him no victory. I don't give him no but in order to do that, man, I have to keep close with him. I have to 
Because it's a struggle, man. It didn't get any easier. God just teaches me how to deal with it a lot better. It didn't get easy. I wouldn't say like, oh, I'm healed. No, no, no. He just teaches me day by day. He teaches all of us how, that's it, how to get there and how, what, what needs to be done. Um, Man, I'm sorry. I forgot I'm somewhere in the street a little bit. But just, man, just grateful. Oh, I'm sorry, I said trust issues. Then after trust issues, I did, when Satan shows up on one thing, God shows up. God is already there. Let me say that. Satan ain't there for God been there. <coughs> he been there. He allows Satan to do certain things. But but the devil meant for bad, God meant for good. So what's a lesson in it? Um, and the same untrustworthiness that I didn't have for my, I felt like I didn't have for myself and still walking in faith. Doing the next right thing. I don't know if you like me, I'm not a common thief. When I get myself together now and then, but I still pro have that program mind like I'm in the store. And man, these people not even paying attention. I just I had to learn how to not do that. Because that was a lifestyle, like any way that I can get it. So like and this that struggle, the war with oneself, it ain't with you or with nobody else. It's what I got going on in here. Can't nothing you tell me, you tell me whatever is worse than what my own mind tells me. Dealing with him. Um, but then in learning that and God honors our steps, man, it started living, it's trying to walk in integrity. Not trying to rush. Because oh, I'm healed now. I want to be good. I just want to be good. And I want to be so far along down the road when I haven't even completed what's right in front of me. So patience and perseverance, day by day, um, taking the good with the bad. The same trust issues that I had now through the grace of God today, man, the company where I work with, man, I'm, I'm a production manager. I'm over the production outside. I have, I'll never forget the fear that I had, man. They gave, I, they gave me a company called with my name on it. And the old habits would tell me I didn't deserve that. But God said, yes, you did. Look at your progress. Look at how you're living. You want to keep it? There's more to come. Keep at it. Keep, being, keep doing it for you and for other people around God also, too, started giving me more responsibilities. So with the house where I'm living at, where he mentioned, um, you know, I, after six months, five or six months, I ended up becoming a house manager. So now you're not just living there, you're being accountable for yourself with the others around you. You know, hey, we're not just being sober today, though, because the program may give you soul, but God gave you peace. So how can we help others get that? And then so be connected with other people around me the same way to help build you up. And you iron sharp as iron, you build one another up. Mm -hmm. God shows up, he does. He shows up and he shows up. He shows up in his time. And that patience learned in his time. My way of thinking, Isaiah 55 and 7, my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are beyond your understanding. So learning that, man, because um, it's this world we live in today with these phones and Instagram, the way the world is doing and then having to go a different path, having to do something different. And, but I'm used to doing it this way, being comfortable in my own skin and then walking in a different path. And man, but I'm thankful for him because he did. I don't forget where he delivered me from. I know he's real. He trips me out when people say God is not real. But the moment you get in the jam, you say, oh, Lord. Subconsciously, you scream out to him, but in the same pair of lips that said he's not real. I know he's real. I know he's real, and I'm so thankful. Thank I'm thankful he chose me. So many people in their lives, not so many, but people, other people that I've been with, in, this, in that lifestyle that I live, they weren't rewarded the grace that we were, they're not living today. They got something of all 50 years behind here, but we still sit there for a chance. That's great. That ain't because I'm special or like I'm better than anybody. That's because he loved me. It's because he loved you. Because he loved you, bro. Like, so just stay for man. Again, not proud of the things that I've done in the past, but I'm definitely not ashamed of what God has brought me from. And then look, today, we use that today, man, to let everybody know that, man, it is not too late. If you have a breath in your body, if you woke up today, there's an opportunity, there's a chance. Is there, you know, just grateful today, man. Thank y'all for letting me share. Amen. Amen. Amen.